Hi everyone, Amazing here. Welcome to my highly interactive and dynamic Excel dashboard video tutorial right here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful and highly dynamic dashboard from the scratch. Now if you look at the one that we have right here, this dashboard has nothing to do with pivot table. We are just trying to actually experiment on how to use function to actually create a dashboard. It's going to have a filter just like what we have right here. If you look at it every single time I actually apply the filter, it actually gives us the view we really want to see. Now, if I want to apply the filter, all I do is just to choose the all and I have it cleared. This is exactly what it is. So I can actually close my filter right here. Should you have this downloaded right from my YouTube channel? So all you just gotta do is just to go through this particular instruction and actually get to see what the dashboard is all about and how you can actually avail yourself the opportunity to use this very system we actually use on this dashboard to create your own dynamic dashboard as well. Now the dashboard is about human resources, which is HR, and this is the instruction given that is I mean what you'll need to do to create this particular dashboard and the kind of dashboard you are required to actually create. It's a very nice project actually to embark on to actually know how things work. So you might be surprised what is actually hiding this and actually revealing it back again. So if you are new to Excel or if you've not ever, if you've not ever heard about uh, Vimeo before, let me show you what it's doing there. It's just a little code that is doing all this. So just click on this particular developer right here and go to Visual Basic. When you hit on Visual Basic, this is what you see. This is just a few code that is doing all that you've just seen based on hiding and actually revealing back and all of that. So if you're familiar with VBA, you're gonna know what oh, this particular code does. I'm gonna show you how to do all this from the scratch. Do not worry, in the full tutorial, we'll get to learn all this. So I've closed it back right now. So if we go to right here, I want to actually, uh, let me explain things to you before we go for the right now. So now we have the total of 1,470 employee and we have 60% of the employee to be male and 40% to be female. So right now, this is not the people we have available in our organization right now. But how do we know how many persons we have in our organization? We can know that through the level of attrition. I believe you know what attrition is all about. Attrition is, uh, is, is actually the movement of people away from the organization, like through retirement or wherever. So right now, the people we have or the number of employees we have right now in the organization is 1, 2, 3, 3 right now and we have 237 to be out of the organization which we've not actually replaced so right now if we want to check in the sales department how many uh, employees we have right there so when we place filter we're going to see it's going to count how many employees we have in the sales department and based on job role right here in the sales department we only have people in sales executive we have managers and we have what sales representative so others are cancelled out so if we go to human resources or research and development we see different things as well so this is how it is so and if you want to select it all we select it all and we want to see how many people were satisfied with the service right here which is relationship how many people actually uh, have this very strong relationship with the organization so when we actually see we see a very high very low and very yeah, okay, we have high, very high, very low. Now, based on satisfaction, we still have something very, very important right here. We can actually take a look at. So, when we place one, this is what we see. Now, we can see the whole dashboard actually gets to change dynamically. And now we're going to actually build this whole stuff from the scratch. So, how about that? It's amazing, right? So, if you've never been to my YouTube channel, and this is your first time to hit my channel i have some amazing dashboard right here for you guys that you can actually take a look at and know how we build it right so just take a look at that by actually clicking on any of this card right here and start uh creating a very nice amazing dashboard right away so thank you very much for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial just for we to start developing this from the scratch